Hi guys, welcome to Sip9. In this video ay itutuloy natin yung series natin on age problem. No? So, basahin natin yung problem dito. Iris is one fourth times as old as John. If we add Iris age 12 years from now to John's age 8 years ago, the sum is 54. What is John's present age? So, medyo, medyo mas complicated ito kaysa yung mga sinold natin sa mga previous uh, tutorials. No? Kasi... Uh, Tatlo yung time natin dito, no? Tatlo yung points in time. Yung present, no? Yung present. Yung present. Yung past, no? Tsaka yung future. Okay, so yung sinasabi sa present, Iris is one-fourth times as old as John. So... Sino kaya yung ex natin? Ang ex natin ay si John kasi si Iris meron siya sinasabing one fourth times, di ba? So if our present if the present age of John is x, then Iris is one fourth times the age of John which is one fourth x. So ano ba pag 20 si 20 si John, si Iris ay one fourth, no? Times 20 which is equal to 5. Okay. So Ano sinasabi niya? Tingnan mo natin yung past, no? Yung past dito is 8 years ago, di ba? So if we add Iris age 12 years from now to John's age 8 years ago. So meron tayong past na 8 years ago. So 8 years ago yung past natin. Tapos yung future natin is 12 years. 12 years from now. Okay? So, 8 years ago, syempre mababawasan yung age mo ng 8, di ba? Mari, 20 years old ka ngayon. 8 years ago, ilang taon ka? 12 years old, di ba? You subtract 8 from 20. So, meaning, we subtract 8 from both ages. No? Syempre, mas bata sila noon ng walang taon. So, 1 fourth x minus 8 also. Sa future naman, 12 years from now, syempre, madadagdagan yung edad nila na 12. No? So, 1 fourth x plus 12 also. Okay? So, tingnan natin ulit yung sentence. If we add Iris age 12 years ago, si Iris, saan ang age ni Iris 12, oh, 12 years from now? Sorry. Yeah, if we add Iris age 12 years from now, saan yung age niya 12 years from now ni Iris? Ito si Iris 12 years from now ito. So yung age ni Iris 12 years from now is this one. At yung age ni John 8 years ago, if we add Iris age 12 years from now to John's age 8 years ago, ito yung age ni John 8 years ago. So pag in natin yung dalawang yan, the sum will be 54. No? So, pwede natin i-add x minus 8. Okay na And then plus 1 fourth x plus 12 is equal to okay natin ang counting space. 1 fourth x plus 12 no? is equal to 54, di ba? Di yung sinasabi niya. 54. Okay? Ayaw natin ng fraction. No? So, pag ayaw natin ng fraction, ginagawa natin, pwede natin tagaling yung fraction by multiplying everything by 4, no? So, para matanggal tong 1 fourth na to, para puro whole numbers, para puro integers. So, 4, I-multiply natin lahat ng 4. So, 4 times x plus x minus 8 plus 4 times. So, we multiply both sides by 4, di ba? Multiply mo yung side na to by 4. And then, you also multiply this by 4. Diba? So, meaning, multiply natin yung 4 times x minus 8 plus 4 times 1 fourth x plus 12. Kung nalilito kayo, actually, pwede yung kanina, 
pwede natin siyang walang parenthesis, no? Uh, nilagyan ko lang siya ng parenthesis para uh, malaman yun na ito ay age ni age ni uh, Iris 12 years from now tsaka ito ay age ni John 8 years ago. Pero actually, pwede yan na walang para mas madali sa inyo, pwede siyang walang parenthesis, no? So, x minus 8, no? x minus 8 plus 1 fourth x plus 12 equals 54. So, pag minultiply natin both sides by 4, no? By 4. Okay, so multiply both sides by 4. Ano mangyayari? So, we distribute, no? We distribute. We use the distributive property. So, magiging 4 x minus minus um, what is 4 times 8? 32 plus 4 times 1 fourth. So, matatanggal na siya. 4 times 1 fourth is 1, di ba? Times x is just x. 1 times x is just x. And then plus 48 equals what is 54 times 4? 16 tsaka 200. This is 216. Okay? Tapos 4x plus x is 5x. Ano ang minus 32 plus 48? Minus 32 plus 48. Is it 16? Positive 16, di ba? So, this is the same as 48 minus 32. So, it's just 16 equals 216. And 5x plus 16 minus 16 equals 216 minus 16. So, nag-subtract tayo ng 16 from both sides para 5x na lang maiwan dito. Kailangan natin na-isolate yung x, diba? So, 16 minus 16 is 0. 5x na lang natira dito. Tapos ito 200. 216 minus 16 is 200. So, divide natin both sides by 5. 200 divided by 5. So, x equals 40. Okay. So, dapat tignan natin mabuti kung saan yung ano ah. Kung saan ba yung x at kung ano ba yung hinahanap. No? So, ang x ay ang John's present age. So, ilang taon si John ngayon? Si John ay may natin kulay. Si John ay 40 years old. So, 40 years old si John. Si Iris ay 10 years old kasi 1 fourth ng 40. 1 fourth ng 40 is 10. Okay? Actually, kung titignan natin yung tanong, what is John's present age? Sagot na siya. Sagot na natin siya ng 40. No? But we can check our answer. Ilan taon si John 8 years ago? 32, di ba? Ito yung inad natin eh. Tapos ito. Ilan taon si Iris ng 12 years from now? So 10 years old siya ngayon. Tapos 12 years from now, 22 siya. Pag inad natin itong dalawang to, di ba? Di ba naalala yung problem? If we add... Iris age 12 years from now, that's 22. And John's age 8 years ago, that's 32. The sum is 54. So 22 plus 32, dapat 54 siya. Which is correct. Okay, so sana may natutunan kayo dito sa ating uh, uh, tutorial. No? Uh, kung hindi nyo masyadong naintindihan, ay mas maganda pa panakorin nyo ulit. No? And try to study the earlier tutorials. No? Kasi... May mga earlier tutorials tayo na mas madali. Okay, so gusto kong invite sa sitnayan.com yung ating website at sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sitnayan.ph Pwede kayo mag-subscribe, no? click the subscribe button and then uh, click nyo lang yung bell no? para every time na mag-upload ako ay manotify kayo. So huwag nyo kalimutan yung bell malapit yung subscribe button. See you in the next tutorial.